Welcome back everyone. So I lucked into an unexpected day and a half down here to work. So I've got about three hours until it gets dark. I'm gonna work on shingles and then when it gets dark I'm gonna go inside and work on insulating above the top plates in the main room. So let's get started. So, yeah, this area under here, I'd really like to be able to get this whole thing done. So, let's get these boards cleared out of here and I'll check back in with you. Alright, so we got that all cleared out, so we're going to have to get some Tyvek up and then some more Slicker Max and then we can finish that off. And that's a small section, but I have a feeling that will take me the bulk of the time I have. So it's like 45 degrees out, so it's kind of warm to fuss with a fire. So I'm going to keep the door shut. I don't have any outdoor plugs wired yet. I'm going to run the uh, air compressor off the Jackery and that way I can heat up the cabin with the propane. That's what's making that noise. All right, so we got the tie back in behind me and uh, boy, this is, uh, this is like an hour of work before I've even laid a shingle. I love the way the exposed rafter tails look, but I can definitely understand why people box them in. It's just going in and out of that is a pain. All right, well, I got all the Slicker Max in. So uh, we'll check back in when we've got some progress here. Alright, we're about to lose daylight, so I'll show you where I'm at before I quit. Probably won't be able to get a good video of it in the daytime. But yeah, I mean, basically this corner here and over there to top the door. But I'm, I'm actually happy I got this done because there's just so many cuts here that this was kind of a mental block for me trying to, trying to do this. Um, and I just took my time and did the best I could. You know, sometimes with this work, you just got to... You know, you just got to take your time. There's no rushing through it. About time to quit. Uh, almost sunset, or sun has set, but it's getting dark here. So, uh, do some filming inside and then uh, call it a day. Alright, oh shit, we got a shoot manual here. It is not this light in here. So one of the things about these cameras, they they kind of do what they want. You gotta kind of outsmart them. So hold on. Right, that's probably a more accurate representation of how light it is in here. So this is a solo trip. Sarah's not here. Just had my dinner of uh, Slim Jims and crackers. Um, I do the cooking in our relationship, but I cook for Sarah. So when I'm left to my own devices, um, usually too lazy. I have food here, but uh, crackers and Slim Jims it is. So I gotta get my breakfast ready and do some stuff. So we'll just do some chores in here. Got the bed made. Not as interesting when I make it versus Sarah. One of the things that I kind of find neat is uh, the temperatures in the cabin. So the bedroom is 60 degrees. Uh, and uh, so I got here at one and I turned on the propane furnace like immediately. And it's kind of neat, like the main cabin is 52 degrees. So there's a bit of a temperature difference, but it's like 40 degrees outside with only like a 9,000 BTU propane heater, so it's kind of neat that I can still get heat. I really like having two fuel sources. Um, I know propane's like a kind of a dirty word off grid, but if you're gonna do this, I would say have two heat sources: one one wood stove and then one something else that you can fall back on, maybe a diesel heater, maybe propane, something like that. All right, I gotta get my breakfast ready before I forget. Let's get out of the cooler here. Got 
Got some milk. And got some overnight oats. Uh, yeah, this is my go-to breakfast out here. Actually, let's get a little bit lighter for you guys. Yeah, overnight oats. My, I, I can't tell you how many times I forgot to pour the milk in though, and I wake up in the morning and I gotta eat nothing or something else. And we'll save a little bit for tea or something. And you just put this back in the cooler, let it sit overnight, and it's good to go. So now I've kind of got a tight deadline. The You guys are actually going to see videos out of order. That I'm going to edit the video that you're going to see now, which that's confusing me to even talk about. But then the video that I filmed last week is actually going to play next week because it's a sponsored video. And I don't really don't want to do two sponsored videos in a row, but it's also... Uh, a better video and when I do have a sponsored video I like to put those in good videos just so that the, they get their money's worth um, and I, I don't even my goal is to do one sponsored video a month this month I'm gonna have two but hopefully going forward if, if I can do one a month that that can make this channel sustainable um, so I know that kind of ticks people off sometimes but it's, it's just a fact of life you know you gotta have money to do stuff and I can't can't do this stuff if I don't get money to buy stuff like building materials and whatnot. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on there. So a couple couple videos ago, I mentioned that I was going to put a USB-C charger in here so I could hopefully charge my laptop without taking DC power, turning it to AC power, and then turning it back to DC power. It doesn't work. I don't know if it's just my particular laptop, but uh, I get this blinking signal and it, it, it beeps charging, but it doesn't actually charge. So uh, I'm gonna try some different, I've got some voltage converters and stuff. I'm gonna try some different stuff to see if I can solve the problem, but for now. Anyway, I'm gonna do that and uh, check back in. I think we're gonna, maybe I'm gonna try some astrophotography. It's like really clear out and there's a crescent moon kind of. So that might, I don't know if it'll come out or not, but if it comes out, I'll throw those pictures in here. Okay, so this is really weird. You know how I told you this doesn't work? Now it's working. Um, my only thought is, I think maybe when I tried this, I was in um, like bulk, and now I'm in, I don't know, nighttime. So it's like 25 volts even. I'm wondering if it was the voltage was too high or something like that. I don't really know. This is all a big experiment here. If that is the actual reason it works now, I mean, I can just do my computer stuff at night. If it is a voltage issue, this is kind of cool. I, I actually just bought this. Uh, this is a DC to DC converter, and basically you can input, you know, 6 to 32 volts, uh, and it'll output, you know, like something like 2 to like 30 volts. So what if it's a, if it's a high voltage issue, I can just regulate that. Also, I might as well get my coffee ready, too. Good to go for the morning. I have a feeling I'm gonna to wanna to sit around and drink coffee a while, so we'll just make like three cups. Alright, that was, that was fun. I got a bit cold out there, but some of those shots I think out, came out pretty cool, so uh, hopefully put a couple of them in here. Um, I think I'm going to get ready for bed and get up early and get, get a lot of work done tomorrow. Alright, I can barely keep my eyes open, so uh, good night. See you in the morning. Oh, good morning. Day two here. Get a little light on for you. Oh, man, yeah. sleepy. Uh, it's like 7 a.m. Um, let's get some coffee going. Looks like the uh, propane furnace held it steady at 60 degrees all night. 
and out in the main cabin it actually climbed up to 57 degrees out here while the outside temperature dropped to 30 so hopefully if I have spare time I can finish insulating the uh, above the top plates that will probably even help and I've got a couple bays in the utility room that don't have any insulation at all and then obviously the floor so I think once we're done with the insulation if I want the propane is going to be plenty if I want to come here and don't want to bother with a wood fire Timer for my coffee here. Three minutes left, I'd say. Well, here's to a productive day. Uh, I'll check back in after I have my breakfast and my coffee, and we'll get started. All right, I'm ready to ready to work. Um, I wanted to follow up. A while back, I did a uh, sponsored video of Brunt Workwear boots, and this is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to say this or anything, but I wanted to follow up on these. I actually really like them a lot. Uh, when I first got them, I had some concerns. Um, specifically, there was like some leather in here that kind of dug into my uh, feet a little bit. And once I broke them in, that completely went away. It does take a long time to, to, uh, to break them in because the, the leather is just really thick. Um, but again, not being paid to say this, I don't make any money if you guys buy them, but I do like them a lot. I'm very comfortable. Uh, suggesting them to people who are looking for boots. I, I have a $15 off code. I'll dig it up and put it in the description, um, but I just think they're good boots. So if you're looking for some, I like them. All right, well, got a couple complex cuts here, but once I can get above this, it should be smooth sailing, except for cutting them in along this angle here. So I, I, I missed a shingle here, that looks kind of goofy, but I'm already two courses above it. So we'll do uh, one together here and then I'll shut it off and I'll show you where I got. Alright, this is kind of a tough cut because I need one that's basically from here to here wide. This is angled here and then I've got to do this little bit here, so um, let's find the right shingle first. Yeah, so that's good enough there. First thing we got to do is get a level under here and scribe this curve and then I can go back and cut that side. Hold it where you want, get a level under it. You got It's got to be level when you scribe it like that. Otherwise, otherwise it'll look goofy once you slot it in. Get a close up, see if you can see that. Right along our line here. It's okay that that broke off up top. If I were that picky, I would never get this done. So that, uh, that seems to fit pretty good. It's going to take a little bit of shaving up here. And what I do is I've, I've got a little mark here that you can see. I'm just going to measure the distance and then I'll know where to notch this in. That's ten and a half inches. All right, so this edge right here needs a little bit of block plane work, uh, just a bit. And you can see that the grain runs like this. So I'm going to plane this way. Um, but that's, if you do it the wrong way, you'll get a lot of tear out. We should see this edge just slowly clean up a little. It doesn't look like it needed to have a lot off, and it looked like it was more towards the top. So, dial that in for a little bit more bite. There we go. 
Alright, All right, that's a little bit more clean. Hopefully that'll fit good. We may have to fine tune it a bit more once we get it up there. It's right there. And I know that those things come out about a half inch, so we'll make this about five eighths. Um, we'll square this off the bottom of the shingle to draw this line. Whenever It's not always possible, but whenever possible, use the flat bottom edge as a point of reference because you know that that has to be level. It's, uh, when these, these sides are not always square to the bottom, so if you just take your square off the side, you may not get a good fit. Half inch, it doesn't matter, but if you're doing a longer cut, you know, you may be a third of an inch off by the end of your cut. Hands are cold. It's it's like 30 degrees right now. It's I'm not used to being cold. All right. Well, now we'll test fit it. It usually doesn't fit on the first try. Usually you have to tune it a bit, but let's see how it works. All right. So that's just a bit, a little bit tight. So. This is pretty good, but it looks like I'm just going to smooth a bit off of this side here. What do you think? Not bad. Little gap up there, but that's going to get covered by successive courses, so I'm happy with that. Really didn't take much tuning with the plane, just a couple passes. So just like on the outside corners, I am alternating which shingle butts into which. So this one butts to this. The shingle that I have yet to place here will butt into that. I don't think anyone will ever pick that up, but if you want to be real OCD, have a party. All right, I'm going to work off camera now so I can actually get something done. Um, I'll check back in when I've got some notable progress to show you. All right, well, it's 3.30. I got strict instructions to be on the road by 4, so we don't want to take off the bank. Um, so let's check out what we got done. So this, uh, you're going to see what I did, and you're going to say that's all. But I'll tell you what, this is the most time-consuming section of the entire cabin because there's almost everything is a cut. So we started over here. I had to, um, I had to cut in these guys up here. Um, had to do that flashing detail. We got to put some kick out flashing up there still um, And then eventually we'll still have to go up there uh, But I'm not gonna do that until I got someone here with me in case I fall and then let's See here And then We got all the way across up there and then we got all the way over there so many cuts and I can butt up to this board here and then I'll have to wrap that corner. Um, those little, I gotta like glue those little triangle pieces on the end there. Those things are, would be too small. They'll break if I staple them. Staple them. So, uh, so we got pretty far. And then this section here will be pretty fast until I have to cut in around the rafters. That'll be kind of a pain. But this whole area here will go quick. And then. Oh my gosh, it's never ending. And then I've gotta I've gotta do this section here. I still gotta put Tyvek up. Oh man. And gotta do up there. But I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Anyway, you know, making these shingle videos, it's always a, a conundrum because they're they're not super they don't have super wide appeal, but you guys like seeing progress and and it's like i either have to miss an upload or come down here for a day and a half and work it it doesn't make sense to work on shingles for like four hours and stop it's it's like once you get going it's time to quit so but anyway i'm happy with what i got done i want to thank you guys for always watching i want to thank patreons for supporting me i really appreciate that and now i'm really excited for next week's video i think it's going to be really good um, it's out of order, so that one's already filmed, but it's it's going to be a good one, so stay tuned for that, and thanks again.